Hello everyone, this video will show a step-by-step -step guide on deploying the iText Detail SDK. In another video, I showed how to deploy the iText Detail Manager and Editor using Kotlink. And as you can see here, I have my images pulled. And my containers are running. So now we are going to deploy and run the SDK so you can continue with the process of running Detail locally. Now, of course, these instructions can be found on our website and the link to this page will be in the description below. Now, in my last video for the manager and editor, I created its own directory that was located on my desktop. So everything is being run in this directory. I then made one for the SDK as well. And as you can see, I created the config, log, and work directory. And for the config file, I have my license there. And this can be either your trial license or your commercial license. As well as a user config file, which I created using Notepad++. But of course, you can use any other text editor. Now, again, this content can be found on the SDK deployment manual that is located on our website. Now, this is to enable the template deployment feature. Now, all I had to do was copy and paste the content that is here into my text editor, which was then used to create the user.config file. So I put the license and user.config file in the config directory as well as in the shared directory. Now, lastly, I also have my work directory. So this is where your actual templates are going to be saved. And of course, these have, a, these have the var, opt, and dto directories. In this, this PDF folder, it's just my destination path where all of my PDF documents are going to be saved in whenever I run a REST API command. So now I'm going to open up my terminal and I'm going to pull the images from Docker. Of course, this is a prerequisite that you should already have installed on your machine. Now we always recommend that you use that you use the latest version available and the, the latest version at the time of this video is 2.2.7. We have now successfully pulled the image. However, it is not yet running as a container, so let's just set that up now. Now you can give it any name that you would like. In this case, I'm going to give it the name of SDK instance one. Now I'm going to retrieve my config directory or the config directory. And we want to do the same for the work directory as well. Now, I'm, now you must assign it to a port. I am just going to be using 
Now this may take a while as it is starting up. Now the SDK is up and running. And as you can see, the SD the detail SDK is running as a container. We have now successfully deployed the detail SDK. So now let's go back to setting up your workspace. Now you can create a workspace name and alias, as well as set the time zone for your workspace. And the next step is where you can actually upload your license file. Now, after going to the next step, you then have to connect your API instance, first by creating a name for the instance. And providing an URL, and I'm going to be using the one that is provided on our website. And again, that link or the link to that page is in the description below. Now, please note that this should be consistent with the port you previously assigned it to. As if you remember, I have previously assigned it to port 95, so I'm being consistent with that. Then you then press create to finish setting up your workspace. And after successfully deploying the iText Detail Manager and Editor, as well as the iText Detail SDK, you can now run iText Detail locally. Thank you so much for watching.